this gives me hope. Not only because it's the Word of God and the power of the Word of God, but if you look nicely, you'll see that there's a little cross on there. And the cross gives me hope. Jesus Christ gives me hope. He's my rock and my salvation. And without God, I can't do anything. My hope is always that Jesus will never disappoint me. His love is unfailing. Knowledge in the resurrection that Jesus Christ died for me. Christ is alive in me. So yes, I place my hope in Christ on a daily basis. I know God is alive. If there is no God, I have no hope whatsoever. I just feel hopeful about my life because He's in my life and He loves me. Jesus gives me hope. He's the light of my life. Definitely the joy of the Lord is my hope and my strength. Seeing something in the future that you can work to. Knowing that nothing is too hard for God. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And that gives me hope. That I don't have to die for my sins. That Jesus died for my sins. The knowing that I've got Christ with me and the Holy Spirit. If it wasn't for being a Christian and having the Lord in my life, no, what's the point of it all really? What I think gives you hope is the Lord. I also get it through worship. Because He reconciles me with the Father, um, not because I deserve it, but through grace. If you believe in Him, He can give you hope for everything. Knowing that God loves me. God is the source of all my hope and um, knowing that I can wake up every day and put my trust completely in Him. On a worldly note, my hope is in my, my wife and my beautiful child. I, my mother, when she encourages me. I suppose friends, my friends give me a lot of hope, um, encouragement. The fact that my husband loves me and he will never leave me. Just seeing good things around the world and seeing that not everything is corrupt and going wrong. I think just looking around when you come on a Sunday, I mean, you can just see people got hope. If we, live, if we look at the world we live in today, um, it's, it's, it's quite, a, a, quite a messed up world. So, yeah, we can only find hope in, in, in our God and our Savior. What gives me hope is certainly not humans. And that even though today we may live amongst, you know, a perverse generation, but I have hope that one day every knee will confess and bow down to the name of Jesus. Sometimes I might not feel happy, but I feel safe knowing that that God is watching over me and He gives me hope. When, when times are, are tough, when they're hard, when you feel like you can't do it anymore, I just think of the cross. I think of Jesus and I have hope. There's no doubt about it. In, in the worst times, He's always there for you. He keeps His word. He doesn't break it. He never goes back on His promises. Before our issues and before our problems that we're experiencing right now, right here, God was there. And after our problems that we're experiencing right here, right now, God is still there. Sometimes it's not always easy to have a hope in that because you don't see Him. But I suppose you, you just got to look back to the experiences where you felt Him so close that you've known without a doubt that He's so real. And uh, use those experiences and, and just know that He is real. But what I know is that He's real because He has a personal relationship and so that gives me hope. Something that that is awesome <laughs> is knowing that no matter what struggles I have today, tomorrow, yesterday, um, that one day when I pass out of this very difficult life that there's something better waiting for me and ultimately knowing that I will have an eternity um, with God, with the one that loves me so much. Know that um, there's, a, there's, a, there's a bigger power, there's, a, there's somebody that's actually caring for you. Okay, the universe has got your back. The Bible actually says things are going to get worse. So our hope can absolutely not be in a political party or in people or even ourselves. He is the one that can give us a peace that passes all understanding. It's definitely God when times are down. It's only Him that pulls you through. When everyone else leaves you, it's only Him that stands by your side. But I know that that because he's already seen my future and he's already seen um, how my life is going to turn out and because I'm ch I've chosen to walk in his footsteps and, and, and chosen according to his word and his will that I have hope because that's what his word said. It's when you believe and hope that something's going to happen. And knowing that the 
future is good because um, in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 it says for God knows the plans he has for you plans for good and not for evil to give you a hope and a future being a Christian being a child of God I'm part of his plan not part of any politicians plan not part of any economists plan and another thing don't put your hope in dope to find hope in the unseen